Hello friends, I am Dr. Kuldeep Mahadikar. In this video, I am presenting my 9th chapter from my series Literary Pearl entitled as Supernatural Machinery in Rape of the Log by Alexander Pope. Pope's Rape of the Log is one of the excellent specimen of the poet's poetic genius. It touches the highest level of filigree technique with its supernatural machinery. Actually, the poem did not have this machinery in its first version. By the grace of God, Alexander Pope came across a book of Rosicrucian mythology. In this book, he read the account of the four orders of spirits, that is, sylphs, gnomes, uh, nymphs, and salamanders. When Pope published the second edition, he added this Rosicrucian machinery and made it more elaborate. The inclusion of this machinery enabled him to achieve many unexpected and wonderful effects. Later on, the poet himself was proud of the achievements of this poem. Supernatural machinery mentioned uh, the four elements that are both sexes. Sylphs are the spirits of air and they are the most good nature of all. The gnomes are the spirits of earth and delight in mischief. Nymphs are the spirits of water and salamanders those of the fire. In the rape of the law, Pope makes use of both sylphs and umbrail. The spirits take interest in human affairs. They are divine being with insect wings. The introduction of this machinery helped the poet to enhance mock heroic aspects of the epic. In the beginning of the poem, Ariel comes to Belinda's bedside in an invisible shape. He tells her about all the spirits and adds that he is their commander. His duty is to protect her from the evil spirit. He also warns her about some tragic mishap of that day. Lastly, the Rosicrucian machinery or we can say the supernatural machinery helped the poet in elaborate descriptions of epic magnitude. In the first canto, Ariel's arrival is described as a supernatural incident. Similarly, his warnings uh, to the other spirits in the canto 2 is elaborately presented. When Lord Peter extended his hand to cut the lock, all the spirits rush as they rushed into battlefield and Ariel withdraws helplessly as soon as he sees an earthly lover lurking in the heart of Belinda. It is only then that the rape is affected. I quote, Sudden he viewed, in spite of all her art, an earthly lover lurking at her heart. Amazed, confused, he found his power expired, resigned to fate and with sigh retired. I unquote. Everything elevated and every incident, incident uplifted, Pope successfully creates a poem of epic grandeur. Many praise the supernatural machinery in the poem, but some critics also found fault with it. For example, Dennis tells the, that the machinery had no religious base. He also pointed that the machinery had no part in the poem because the spirits could save Belinda's tragedy. In spite of all these objections of the poem, it's a superb effort uh, by uh, Pope, Alexander Pope, and a grand success. Pope had built up the great mock heroic epic on a very pity domestic quarrel. In the Sylph, says Cunningham, we witness a delightful downscaling of the epic machinery. The machinery helped him to elevate the theme and enable the treatment. That is why it is rightly pointed out that Rip of the Log is a masterwork of filigree art. So that's all from my side friends on Alexander Pope's use of supernatural machinery in Rip of the Log. Thanks friends.